Okay. I had to get on here really quick. This might end up being a long video. I'm not sure yet. This is a part two to my video on HR620. Which, if you haven't seen my other video, I will put it in the description. But basically, the bill passed the house and it is to give businesses a longer period of time before they get sued for not complying with the Americans with Disabilities Act. I've already said why I'm okay with it. But I want to address the hysteria because this is very, very common these days. There is hysteria over everything. And oftentimes, what is feared the most does not come to pass, which is exactly why I said chill out and relax. But everybody's crying, oh my god, they're trying to take my civil rights away, and I even had somebody relate this bill, which is for disabilities, on race. Like, oh, this is somehow going to affect race too, and it's all about discrimination this and discrimination that. We're already discriminated against. The Americans with Disabilities Act is already flawed. I've already said that. I'm not going to repeat that again. Well, I can't say that because I probably will. Uh, I'm going to end up being a broken record. But seriously. Businesses are not complying anyway. So would you rather... Just be like, oh. Here, you have to pay this much money because we're going to sue you for not being in compliance or would you rather and mind you we don't know how this is going to go yet but would you not rather the business get called and be like okay we noticed you're not in compliance you know the rules are this this and this which as I said before the rules need to be different because a lot of the places that are in compliance aren't actually not if you're somebody who actually has a disability. There's a bunch of people who, I guess, decide that who don't really know. But anyway, that's a different topic. That's in the last video. Wouldn't you rather be able to approach a business and say, you're not in compliance? But here's what needs to be in compliance, because th here's another part that I didn't address in the last video. There could be businesses that don't realize they're not in compliance. It's common sense to us because we live it, those of us with disabilities. It should be common sense to everyone, but let's just face the fact that it's not. And instead of being so against and up in arms and passionate and this, that, and the other thing, why don't we just think logically for a second, chill out, breathe, and help people realize what we need. Talk like human beings to people. I feel like what once was game-changing and life-changing in passion has turned into fights and TV time, and nothing ever gets solved, because people just want to poke holes in each side. Nobody wants to actually take, take a step back, or a wheel back, or whatever you want to call it, and look at the issue. Facts are facts. Some businesses are not currently in compliance. There is something you can do to change that, but what if, what if it's not slapping a lawsuit, which then they will have to pay, which digs into their money to comply? Why don't we at least try? I'm not saying every business is going to go smoothly with this. I'm not saying that by any means. We might get pushback, but why don't we actually try? 
because at the end of the day, this these places want business. These places want clients and buzz, and they don't want it to be negative buzz. So chances are, if you don't attack them and you offer to have follow-ups, where we're not saying go in this blindly and just give them extra time to do whatever the heck they want and not comply. No, we're saying, okay, we'll give you time to comply, but your ass is going to get follow-ups. We're not going to leave this alone. And if they don't follow up, then it's up to us. And it's not up to us to rally or be assholes to these people. No. It's up to us to either go to the place or make phone calls and say, I drove by or I noticed that you guys were not in compliance. Is there anything that somebody with the experience of a disability can do to educate you on what is needed for your business and how can we help you get that done? You want to talk about unity? Stop being part of the problem and the divide. This goes for every issue of discrimination, not just wheelchairs. And it's really funny because I just had a conversation with my grandmother the other night about how I'm passionate about this and how I should be, in her opinion, more passionate in my videos. And I try not to be because I try to be the person that is level-headed and calms you guys down, which is actually what I'm trying to do in this, but sometimes I have to yell at you because you're just going crazy. And to get you centered, you sometimes need to snap out of it. I don't want anybody to lose sleep for, over this. Because there have been plenty. <laughs> Go back a year or two, okay? A lot more people were supposed to lose a lot more rights than they actually have. Last I checked, every American's numbers were up right now. We've had, you know, our share of tragedies happen, which I'm not going to get into, but a lot of what was hysteria has turned out beneficial. And I'm not saying that for sure that's how this is going to turn out, but I'm equipping you with what to do if not in order to get more done. And now, mind you, I was on both sides of this. Okay? My family and I had the general manager of a place fired due to it not being handicap accessible from 1999 to 2001. Somewhere in between there, it happened. That's when it was going on. I don't remember exactly when the firing happened and when the new general manager took over. But later on, side note, I forgot to mention this in the last video. Side note, the handicap equipping actually got reversed after the show that I went to. Because it's a pre-existing building. Which is why I said we need to revamp the Americans with Disabilities Act as a whole. And again, I will put a petition to do so in my description box. But fast forward to this past November. I've learned as an adult to offer my help, my knowledge, my experience. And the fact that I'm banking on is that these places want business and will listen. I want everybody to have an equal opportunity to have fun. And I want every business to have an opportunity to thrive. So I'm going to offer my help instead of freaking out and just causing noise. Because it's been my experience that nothing substantial changes, and if it does, it takes a hell of a lot longer to calm everybody down. So why don't we just calm down now and 
actually try, like I said in my last video, to get the places that aren't handicapped equipped to do so. Ourselves. Because there is more left in our power and in our hands than we know, than we're accepting. That's what makes this country great. It doesn't always have to be up to the government. If you see a problem with a place, in particular, fix it. Offer your help to fix it. Don't just bring attention to them and have everybody shame them because they're not how you need them to be. Wouldn't you rather be able to actually do what you want to do and go to, the, to whatever the place is peacefully and be able to enjoy it to the fullest? So relax. Nobody's rights have been taken away. You're free to go wherever you want to go. Like I said, there's plenty of places that have not been equipped and places that say they are, but when an experienced person with a disability goes in, it's not what they need. So you know what? Why don't we make the change in the businesses and you know what we have to come to the realization that we're not going to change it as a whole there will still be people who don't comply because people break the law even with the Americans Dis with Disabilities Act existing there are people who just don't care and we have to accept that. You, you can choose not to accept it and just keep fighting and fighting and fighting, but you can't change how an individual feels or acts. You are always going to face some sort of discrimination. And the sooner you accept that, the happier your life and more peaceful your life will be. So, like the Serenity Prayer says, Accept the things you cannot change, and have the courage to change the things that you can. Put your energy towards fixing the places that invite you or accept your invitation to come in and change them. Or give them ideas on how to change. That's up to you. I'm sorry, I don't care who's president, I don't care nothing I don't care who's Senate who's you know whatever it's up to you as the individual you want to make real difference you want to make real change that is how you do it I'll even go as far as saying if you want to make the change actually run for office something to think about if you're of the age you know, so, just, I, I, I see so many people freaking out, and there's people who didn't even give half of my video a chance. They just freaked out because of their passion for the issue. I'm just trying to calm everybody down, because so, so far, nothing has changed. There are already businesses that haven't complied, like I said... Let's just put our energy towards helping places that will accept our invitation to assist them in making things accessible. That's all I ask. Okay? Take a chill pill. Stop yelling at me because this might be an unpopular opinion. And actually, put your emotions completely aside and think about this in a logical sense. Do we want these places to be accessible? Yes, we do. So why prolong it with a lawsuit?
if you could just call or go to the place and offer your assistance. And like I said, make them aware, because some of them, I don't want to use the word ignorant, but some of them might not realize that they're not accessible. You have to understand different people's point of views in this. So while the, the passion might be appropriate in some ways, it's much more productive to do something about it. And there is, in this instance, this situation, plenty that we can do in our own communities. And I hope you do. And I hope you do it nicely and respectfully. Alright, that's all I have to say. If you did like this video, please like it. Share it with your friends. Anybody in office that you know about, or might have correspondence with or know personally, and enjoy your life. Stop letting political issues change your moment to moment life. Which is a whole other issue, but it's very, very pertinent for right now. Alright, so that's all I have to say. And I'll talk to you guys later. Subscribe if you have.